Next, let's take a look at how on-contour features can be created using points and lines in SolidWorks sketches to precisely control toolpath. So on this part, I'll begin by creating an on-contour feature. And then for the geometry, I'll go ahead and select the Use Curves Only selection. And then I'll pick a few SolidWorks sketch points to define the toolpath. OK. And once chosen, then I can say OK. And you can see the toolpath precisely follows the points in the sequence that I chose them. I can also select if I want these movements to be under rapid or feed on the machine. Next, I'll edit the on contour geometry. And let me go over here and clear the selection first, then pick a start point here, and then I'll select the lines for machining. These are the sketch lines in my SolidWorks sketch. And that looks OK, so I'll say OK. And now you can see the toolpath precisely follows the sketch lines. So you can see how valuable this feature is for creating precise toolpaths on geometry that's not necessarily available in the part model.